Hi guys, it's an exciting day today because we have a new uh, Secret Lair Drop Series to unbox. This this time we have the Artist Series Mark Pool. Mark Pool is known for um, for cards like um, magic cards like uh, Counter Spell, Birds of Paradise. Um, he's one of those classic uh, artists who. Who has been with uh, Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering over the years? So this box, I I chose the the um the non foil version. There's always two. Most of the time they have they have two versions for Secret Lair. Uh, it's either the foil or non foil. The reason behind why I choose the non foil is because for some reason it uh, the the foil versions when when I buy them. They always have the tendency of becoming a Pringles-like, meaning it's it's always crumpled a bit like that, which is not good because I, I I usually resell stuff, unlike with the non-foil version, it's still I mean it's not as as blingy or shiny, but uh, it really depends on your choice. But me, I prefer the um, the non-foil version from what I learned, especially with Secret Lair. They're a bit. I mean, Wizards is a bit bad when it comes to the foiling process. Uh, they've been doing this for, for, for what, almost a decade now probably of doing foils, but they're still not the best when it comes to foiling. So here we go. Let's let's unbox this uh, bad boy right now. It's a secret lair drop series. It's fifty nine ninety nine here in Winnipeg. Uh, this is Canadian um, amount. So let's un let's open it from i guess we just need to go from here yep. and they put some seal now which is good because i don't know there may have been issues why they put some seal which is better i mean which is more safer i guess uh especially nowadays to to put these um, that seal over there okay so we can either open it from here okay so thank you for being a part of secret lair okay so they still have this it's a bit thinner right now which is good i mean i like it too as opposed to the uh, og secret layers where you can even use it as a deck box i've seen some people do that okay secret there drops here it looks like a uh, a watch that you bought there okay so here we go secret there drop series and they usually include um an extra card after this so here we go i'm just not sure yes they included one at the back there which we have a foil brainstorm perfect okay so this is what i'm saying so they have this crumpled so this is like fresh from the box and you have a crumpled brainstorm i mean i like brainstorm obviously it's just that the foiling version really i hope uh, magic and the wizards will have a a way to improve that at some point because it's really disappointing honestly their foiling system okay so it's a bit tight okay here we go so we got a one of my favorite cards of all time, Balance. I like the OG art though of Balance before where there was that knight holding that uh, balancing scale. But this is still cool. I still like that. I mean, the only thing with Balance right now is that you can't use this for uh, Commander if you're playing Commander like me. This is bad because it's way too strong. Now, next card is Brainstorm. As we said, we, we have the foil version that we got from from the as a bonus uh, from from this uh, secret layer box brainstorm is a uh, main staple for whatever deck you have it's uh, like your uh, cheaper version of ancestral recall if you can't afford it um, you can also use it as an imprint for an isochron scepter and speaking of imprints for isochrons one of the best <laughs> spells ever in the history of magic counter spell for two blue Previ uh, when when it first uh, released from alpha beta and even until ice age it was still an interrupt when interrupt was still a, a spell 
uh, or a kind of spell so it, it's now an instant because uh, either way it um, it does the same thing but previ from from previous years interrupt was like a faster way to since you're countering a spell that's being cast because originally the the flavor text or of the actual card says counter target spell as it is being cast and this is one of the coolest counter spell drawings ever the OG counter spell and we have a birds of paradise as we mentioned earlier the uh, original mark pool um, simple art S super strong card for one for one green you get one man of any color and then you get a howling mine which is for bear hog decks because it helps um, hasten the the uh, drawing ability of the game you're helping out your opponents aside from you helping yourself with howling mine uh, from pre this was usually abused when uh, stasis w were decks that were the dominant decks before because you let them draw that many cards when there wasn't that much pool as it is right now however um we just we just destroy it um after when uh, when you're playing stasis once you're or you have them already locked down and then lastly you have a wasteland i like how he did this wasteland here because it's if you notice if you you've been playing magic for the longest time or at least know the history of it it looks like this is the um, uh, library of alexandria which was drawn i believe by mark pool too and uh, this because it's destroying a non-basic land it's like the way this card looks like it destroyed the library of alexandria one of the i would say uh, power 10 cards of all time and one of the most expensive cards as well in the history so this is um, for me a, a way better approach for wasteland since it's a tribute to mark pool kinda and uh, at the same time it's um it's um destroying the library of alexandria uh, in this way that they did wasteland this time this was um a, a great um card especially for commander or any other deck that you might want to play so overall for 60 bucks i guess it's worth weigh your money especially if you're let's say like me i'm playing commander i definitely would be able to use this for a band deck or just because just by wasteland itself you you already have what a 30 dollar card here birds of paradise easy 20 counter spell of probably five bucks and then howling mines about 10 so you definitely have worth your money uh, plus getting your uh, Pringles brainstorm here. Um, for me, I like I like Secret Lair honestly, cause especially I'm not sure if you guys were able to watch that game nights episode where they're blinging their decks. This is one way you'll be able to to pimp your decks, and at the same time, um, it's a good it's a good value for money. Even if you resell it, I mean I don't think you're at a loss here. That's just my take, personal take, on uh, buying Secret Lair, and you get the uh, the extra stuff too. So overall, I like this uh, product. I I I um I would recommend this for anyone who's playing Magic casually or just wanted to to pimp your decks into making it a nicer way um, to to have a nicer deck. Okay, well, thank you so much again for your time. And uh, talk to you later.